So, I betrayed Rapunzel, and she probably deserved it after overshadowing me for my entire life. Everyone, including my own fucking mother, preferred her over me. Rapunzel this, Rapunzel that. Hey, I've just realized something. Rapunzel is nothing without me. Who comes up with all the good ideas? Me! Who does most of the work? Me! But who gets all the credit? Princess fucking Rapunzel. Oh, I'm so fucking sick of it. There you are, Cassandra. You one eyed Dorito. How are you alive after being erased? Oh, that's not important right now. What is important is that I can help you with your little situation. Why should I trust you? You'll destroy everything.
Apple Bloom, Big Mac, Granny, wherever you are, I'll avenge y'all. I'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. I will make you proud. Get the answers and set you free. Don't you worry, whatever it might take, I'm finding a way. And I swear.
my fan in danger to steal the glory and humiliate. You are invited to join the Council of the Crystal King and have your revenge upon those who love you. Do you accept? They want grim and gritty, huh? Happy to play the part. <laughs>
you were KO'd to death by some old boomer. Yeah, laugh it up, Porky. Yes, among all the cartoon characters out there, Caillou has gradually climbed up the ranks to become the most hated of them all. In fact, he's already prominent to becoming one of the worst things to ever come out of Canada. It's debatable if he is the worst, but he is certainly up there. And yet, some may wonder, how is it that this innocent-looking bald kid from a preschool show gathers such worldwide hatred from the mass? Now at this point, the children that used to watch the show have all grown up, studying in college, have jobs, and some even have kids of their own. Eventually, those people would look back at the show that they once loved and reminisce at the times when they joined Caillou on his little adventures, to which with a new adult and more responsible mentality, they all concluded with a realization that they never thought of before. Holy crap, Caillou was absolutely horrible! Throughout the 2010 decade, as the internet and social media became prominently mainstream, the backlash over the bald child became more and more vocal. Hate groups were created, petitions to take him off the air were made, negative reviews came flooding in on websites, and he even became a popular subject for satire videos, including a viral series on YouTube called Caillou Gets Grounded. Seems rather shocking to see how the internet went severely hard towards an innocent-looking cartoon child, but they all have one justifiable reason to why people have such a wooing hatred over Caillou. He is a completely frustrating brat! In almost every episode, there is always that one moment where the kid does something bad, gets overtly angry, and immediately throws a temper tantrum. And believe me when I say that this happens way too often than it probably should. In fact, Caillou's short temper is so commonplace in the show that it's even a part of the main theme song, where he states that growing up is not so tough except when I had enough. And at that second part, it shows him banging on the floor and angrily crying. Technically, some people can argue that this is just how toddlers are. Sometimes they do behave this way whenever things don't go their way. And this is actually a part of Dr. Dolto's studies where she found that children do face problems in their lives the same way that adults do. It's just that children don't have the same communication skills that would help solve them, thus limiting their options on how to respond. In a way, it's it's true what people hate about the series is the way they accurately present children. But it's not entirely that why people hate Caillou so much. Yes, he can be a complete dickhead like any kid his age, but his biggest problem is that he is a complete dickhead and nobody does anything about it. Very rarely, or even never in all those 144 episodes does it happen when Caillou gets punished for bad behavior. No matter what he does, no matter how bad it was, no matter if it was intentional or not, everything goes his way and he gets away with just about anything. One of the most infamous examples is from the episode Big Brother Caillou, where one of his first interactions with his baby sister Rosie is by kissing her on the forehead, then goes completely 180 and pinches her. And the dad was right there, caught him in the act, and not a single punishment was given. But you know what's even crazier? This is actually tamer than in the original book, where instead of pinching her, Caillou just full-on bit her. And the worst thing about him is that he's not just a monster and gets away with just about anything, but he is all that and is supposed to be a role model for children. If you remember back in the beginning, the whole purpose of Caillou is to give toddlers a character that they could connect and relate to, rather it be when reading about him or seeing him on TV. Keep in mind that the franchise is specifically aimed for the youngest target demographic, the ones who are beginning their lives and gradually discovering the world around them. They are possibly the most easily influential group of people out there. So imagine how you have this character that is around their age, always acting like a Republican politician by throwing tantrums until he gets what he wants and keeps dodging consequences to his action and displays it all on screen for the kids to watch. They'll unironically believe that this is how life works. Without proper parenting, 
They'll just imitate Caillou's behavior and learn the hard way that it's probably not a good idea to do that and that life is not a Caillou episode. And this also reveals another major flaw with Caillou. There really isn't much for them to gain from watching the show. Seriously. What do children learn from Caillou? Are there any basic skills or good morals they learn from him? You know, other than using your imagination? Sure, a preschool show doesn't have to be educational, but can you really trust a series that tells your kids that this is how you get whatever you want? However, with this increasing amount of backlash, it was inevitable that Caillou's reign over television would come to a close. At the start of 2021, PBS Kids announced that they would no longer air Caillou on its channel. While it was still on in other countries like in Canada, the public felt a massive relief that one of his biggest markets would no longer show that stupid bald kid on TV. It was a rare occurrence that the whole internet rejoiced and celebrated that their children would no longer fall trapped to the terrible ways of the French-Canadian rock. Oh, sure, leave your team in the hands of a teenager who decapitated a thousand innocent adventure team members and mounted their heads on a wall, grabbed a knife, cut open their spleens, and drank their fluids. Not everyone's. It's in the villain rulebook. If a villain conquers a place or murders someone, they're beyond redemption and must die. Exactly. And the fact that he was so jealous of Fluttershy because of her new friend that, that he caused a riot at the gala. Not to mention that he mono-terrorized the kids at the school with a fucking bugbear. And after Starling banished him from school grounds, he brought a haunt to the school like a fucking ghost! The moment he learns a lesson, he goes right back to square one. He's a selfish, chaos-causing, ass-kissing son of a bitch! They will never improve. Just as I thought. You gave second chances to the wrong people. Well, be as it may, some people do not deserve forgiveness. And guess what? You were right to try to kill Briscoe, because if you did, Bakugo never would have committed genocide! Wow. You and I need to hang out more. She manipulated y'all into being so protective of her. Seriously, why would anybody protect her? Uh, that's right, they won't, unless, of course, she's manipulating you. You're, you're a bad guy now? Uh, well, it can be. 
I've got a new style and new plans that are going to bring an end to those Ohanas once and for all. You're not the Crystal King. I am merely his herald. I prepare the way I do his bidding. Enough with the games, little man. What do you want from us? As you all see, I fooled Rapunzel into trusting me and being her friend. Oh, we were. Not taking me and my goals seriously, forcing me to wait in the wings, and having my mother Gothel choose her over me when I was just four. Holy shit, that actually happened? That sounds terrible. to realize that people like Rapunzel are born to get all the love and attention. People like me get nothing. The one thing that's been keeping me going these past several months is my burning thirst for revenge. Anyways, I've seen your humiliating defeats by Rapunzel, Twilight, Ralphie, and their little pals. And you want to know why they've always bested you? Because they cheat. Because they are annoyingly lucky. I'm just a kid, so... Because they work together. One is weak, the other is strong, and they're unstoppable when unified. But we'll be using their strategy to defeat them. Exactly. And together, Corona, Equestria, Bikini Bottom, and the House of Misfits will all be ours for the taking. This is the worst day ever! No, now it's the worst day ever. <laughs> oh, with this rock! Oh, and that twig! Under my hat. I'll let you see him with my bitch. <laughs> Losers. It is the purpose of the Legion to align our infamous forces against the powers of good and defeat them, leaving us the rulers of the world. To do this, we have gathered together the 13 most ruthless villains on earth. Avengers. Captain Cole. The sinister mind of Sinestro. The awesome Bizarro and Solomon Grundy. The cunning Cheetah and the super intelligent computer android Brainiac. Black Manta and Roth the Gorilla. Gigantor and the hideous scarecrow.
the dark of the night I was tossing and turning. And the nightmare I had was as bad as can be. It scared me out of my wits. <laughs> 